Hello everyone, it's Tut from the Hybrid Network, bringing you a recap and review on Superman number 1, the new jumping off point while at the same time continuing from the Rebirth one-shot for Superman. And in case you miss it, we have it up on the channel for you to check it out in the description below. This story starts off with Clark of New Earth, aka pre-Flashpoint Supes, mourning slash reminiscing and thinking about Cal, the new 52 Superman, at his gravesite. Though he is also pondering what a character Mr. Oz said to him in issue 52 of Superman before the relaunch, being that apparently him and the family aren't what they think they are, as well as mysteriously leaving a handprint where grass used to be without the intention of Clark. He then renounces his previous black and silver costume for the old red and blue, and then cuts to the perspective of John Smith back at home, where a lightning strike woke him up and accidentally set the barn on fire, where his father Clark saved the cattle and put it out. The following day, the Smiths start to prepare to fix the barn, and a hawk comes down and picks up John's pet cat with John quickly acting, but accidentally and uncontrollably shoots his heat vision in full throttle, killing the hawk as well as his pet kitten named Goldie. John was seen by a blonde girl, but she quickly disappeared. Saddened and shocked by the incident, which is unbeknownst to Clark, John then asked to opt out of helping fix the barn. Later on, the blonde girl now properly introduced as Kathy Branded delivers milk to the Smiths, which both John and Kathy awkwardly look at each other and work around not knowing where Goldie the cat is. John, frustrated with the secret and what happened that day, argues with Clark about their secrets and then gets sent to his room, where later that night, he overhears and sees Batman and Wonder Woman talking with his father, where it then ends with Clark telling John to quickly and quietly come with him for an unspecified reason. Superman number one, as all comics have, it's good and bad pros and cons. As for the pros, well, it transitions pretty smoothly going from Rebirth, the one shot to this, as well as many other times it switches perspectives and goes from scene to scene. But John's perspective is also new and fresh for new readers who haven't kept up Lois and Clark, but also it's like, it appears to be that this story is going to be mostly in his perspective, so we're going to maybe grow with the character, so that's always a plus. As for the cons, well, just as Action Comics did, it felt very short. Like, when I flipped to that last page, I was shocked. I was like, wait, we're already done? I, I was expecting a lot more. Not a lot happened in this book. Some stuff did, but not enough to hold the book to where it could have gotten a higher score for what I'm going to give it. For the final verdict, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Superman number 1 is a jumping on point for the ongoing Superman series that will focus on an aspect never before seen. Superman raising his son who is struggling with his secret and uncontrollable power that will leave you pondering what will happen next. If you like hero tales from the perspective of the youth, this comic is for you. See you all at the end of the arc where we will recap everything for the Son of Superman arc. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, comment your favorite part of the issue, and don't forget to subscribe to Hybrid Network for more great content. Peace, I'm out, up, up, and away.